Hi, I'm Matt Arndt. And I'm Bart Taylor. Welcome back to our first time camper series. Today we are going to talk about the shore cord and demonstrate how to hook up power to the trailer. The shoreline cord is a heavy duty cord that connects directly to the power converter inside the RV. The power cord is either wired permanently to the RV electrical system or is detachable for stowing. This cord is used to plug into an external 120 volt, 30 amp, three prong or 50 amp, four prong rated AC service. The cord together with the plug are molded weatherproof assembly that provides a safe ground connection to the site service. You may notice on a 50 amp cord, the cord itself is rated for 240 volt service. However, as the manufacturer, we do not wire any of our units for 240 volt service. Removable cords attach to the RV inlet with a twist lock connector and locking ring. When attaching the cord to the RV, be sure to align the pins correctly before locking the cord in place. The locking ring provides a weather resistant seal and extra strain relief. The power system in your RV is only as good as the power supply feeding it. If the campground has only 30 amp service available, even an RV with 50 amp service will only be able to use 30 amps of service, which is not adequate to properly run more than one air conditioner or certain other appliances. The best way to know what amperage is available is to call ahead to the campground. There are special adapters available through your local dealer to make these connections to campgrounds with lower service ratings. When using adapters, your available electric power for the entire RV is reduced to the rating of the adapter, 50 amp to 30 amp, 30 amp to 20 amp, and 30 amp to 15 amp are the most common. We frequently get questions about extension cords. While we do not recommend them, if it is necessary to use an extension cord to reach an available campground electrical outlet, the correct size of the extension cord must be utilized. For example, 30 amp service requires a 30 amp 10 gauge extension cord not exceeding 50 feet. Adapters reducers are not to be used when using an extension cord and do not plug multiple extension cords together. Your local dealer can assist you in obtaining the proper extension cord for your needs. Now let's connect the shore cord. Be sure the site power source breakers are off, both legs on 50 amp service. If the site power source breakers are not accessible, turn off the main breakers inside the RV. Insert the plug of the cord into the site source receptacle, seating the connector squarely and completely. Turn the site source breakers on. Turn the RV main breakers on. If applicable, turn the battery disconnect on. Now, based on the amperage available, you will be able to run many of the features of your RV. For more information on the electrical system, please review chapter eight in your owner's manual. We'll see you next time where we will be talking about and extending the slide outs.